The second scale is going to be called the following. <laughs> I'm going to make this up. No, I'm not. It's a real term. It's called scumbling. That's real. That's a real term. It's called scumbling. You're scumbling too much. Get it together. Yes. We can use this in a sentence in many ways, right? Scumbling. So write that next to each of them. Now, I'm going to open up this box, and magically it is going to be arranged in a way that makes sense. Now, this box of pastels, these are soft chalk pastels, think similar to sidewalk chalk. They are messy, the color gets everywhere. The one thing I do not want to see when this starts to chalk is this. Why? Because you've now just gotten chalk all over yourself and all over everyone at your table and your beautiful artwork. So don't do that. Okay? Instead, you're going to pick it up and do a little tap tap or take it over to the garbage. Right? So that it doesn't get everywhere because it will get everywhere. I promise you. All right. So what I want you to do first is pick a nice medium shade. Nice medium tone. This is going to be your five, where before we started with our darkest value, we are starting with a five. So, for example, I may pick this orange color. Yeah, you can pick red. Yeah. Now, what we're about to do is create a scale out of our pastels using two different techniques. The first one is blending. Blending, you should be used to. Why? Because you can use your blending stick, right? Blending for blending stick. Or you can use your finger to blend. Okay? It's that soft. So, the first thing I'm going to do is find the middle of my scale, about a four. Uh -oh. oh, no. About a four, right? And I'm going to use the side of my chalk to fill it in. Yep, in the middle like that. Now, I'm going to find a similar color, just a little bit darker. It could be any color. So the first one you find is like a good medium tone, right? The second one you find is going to be the same, but a little bit darker. So I'm going to lay this one down, and I'm going to lay this one next to it. You can see it's a little bit darker, just a tad. So this is going to be... My five. Now, I've laid these both down. I'm going to use my finger to blend into my area. Again, with the two that I just laid down here. Now, I'm going to find one shade, one color lighter. Then my original. See, here's my original. I had one shade darker. Now I'm going to find one shade lighter. I'm going to, again, using the side of my chalk, fill in the area. And use that one shade darker to fill it in as well. And I'm going to blend it with my finger. Again. Now, I kind of like the way that this one... I don't like this one as much. I'm going to fill that back in. All right. Now, I'm going to take this one lighter. I'm going to find one that's even lighter than that. Go ahead. Now, I'm going to fill in with my lightest color. I'm going to fill in with my second lightest color. Then I'm going to fill in with the lightest color I have. I want green, I want to do Yep. Now, you may say, what happens in number one? Well, I'm going to use the very lightest and then a white. 
And there goes my one. So this time it's not the paper, it's actually the color. Okay? If you want to get one even lighter than that, then you're just going to use the white on the edge. I'm going to call that zero. So we've gotten zero. One, two, three, four, five. And now we need to add additional darkness, right? We've gotten as far dark as we can go in the orange family. So what color do you think I should add to start to get my shadow Black. value? Black? Gray. Gray, maybe. What other color could I use? Brown. Brown, yes. Brown. With you? Yeah. Enrique, grasping it. Yes. You start to add some brown. So. I'm going to use the side, and I'm going to pick kind of a lighter brown, and I'm going to put that on top. Check that out. Check out them apples, right? Then I'm going to do my darker orange again. I'm going to find one brown a little bit darker. Now remember, you are also blending either with your stump or with your finger. Your blending sticker with your finger. As we build up these values, right? Yep. And you can even go back in if you don't like, if it's too brown for you, you can go back in again with your color. So I'm seeing that these two are pretty similar. I'm actually going to add a little bit darker brown, just a tad. And then, how are we doing? Come around. Come around. Come around. Good. Good. I see lots of colors happening. Good. A little bit more material here, Billy, so you get a little bit more tone. A little bit more to work with. All right. All right. We're going from yellow, like kind of like an ombre thing going on. All right. Yes. 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 So the same color. On five. Start adding a little bit. All right, and then the very last one, you're going to use the darkest color family that you chose, right? This is basically like monochromatic. Remember when we made monochromatic scale? Exactly what we're doing except with chalk. Does that make sense? You remember the monochromatic painted scale that I made you do in all the colors? Yeah. Was it acrylic? Yeah. All, this is the exact same process. Just adding chalk instead. And instead of adding white and black, we're adding white and brown. Why brown? Because black is overpowering. It can overpower your drawing very, very quickly, and I don't want that to happen to you, okay? This is why we are using brown. All right, so now we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now, using the same color family, I'm going to teach you what scumbling is. <coughs> cool? Scumbling. That's where the other time is. I've decided. It's about 40 today. Scumbling? Yes? Maybe? Uh -huh. Alright, so scumbling. This is the same process except for one step. And this step is blending. We do not blend when we scumble. When we scumble, we use just the edge of the chalk. So, same process as I said. Remember, we start in the middle, we work our way down. So, in four, I'm going to use one lighter. Again, scumbling is just using the edge of the chalk. Then, I go down one. And I'm mixing by layering the sides of my chalk. I, there's no blending happening with my finger or the blending stick. It is all the edge of the chalk. 
So using that side, that side of the chalk to mix your colors. And you just keep layering until you get the desired effect that you want. The desired amount that you want. 